What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about Buda Baker's issues with the Arizona Cardinals. And could he possibly be on the move soon? Let's talk about it. So, Buda Baker, as of late, took away the AZ Arizona Cardinals uh, from his Twitter bio. Um, he also been posting a couple of Michael Jordan cryptic tweets. Uh, excuse me, tweets saying uh, he's taking things personal and all that stuff. So, you know, he's definitely uh, doing some big hoopla now on Arizona Cardinals fans. Also, Ian Rappaport earlier today, or was it yesterday? I forgot which one. I got checked at the uh, date of the tweet, but he was saying stuff about, you know, he just pointed out saying Buddha isn't happy. He's frustrated. So, rumor is, rumor is Buddha Baker, one of the better hybrid safeties, 27 years old. He has asked for a extension. A contract extension pretty, you know, sometime soon, pretty, you know, recently. And the GM of the Cardinals said no. You know, if you don't know, Baker's on a contract until the 2025 season. So it makes sense. You know, I'm not going to pay you a couple years early. Same thing as uh, Xavier Howard for the um, for the Miami Dolphins. You know, he wanted, uh, he signed a deal. He wanted a new deal or at least an extension and more money like a year or two later. Nah, it don't work like that, bro. <laughs> it don't work like that. And I wouldn't do it either. You know, if, if I'm a GM, if I'm an owner, I'm not doing that either, unless you're a, a top, top player. But I've been saying all off season, the Cardinals are going to have to flip some players to get some more value, to get some more draft capital. Uh, capital. They're going to have to do some things that they, they don't want to do. I've been saying it all off season. I was super, super early on the Hopkins news before it even got released to the public. I came out and said, hey, Hopkins might got to go. <laughs> you know, you, you're going to need to flip him for your new coach, whoever that new coach may be. And about a week or two later, it came out Hopkins might be on the move sometime this offseason. So, you know, it just makes the most sense. You know what I mean? It, it really does. So I think Buda Baker could be on the outs also, you know. Um, and what really kind of pointed out to me, honestly, was when they didn't resign Byron Murphy. I'm like, okay. He was your best corner. He's not all that great. I'm not going to say he was amazing, but he was definitely your number one corner. He was pretty he was pretty solid, you know. And then not bring him back. And now you have Buda Baker back there alone by himself as, you know, the the only above average player in that DB room. It's kind of tough. It really is, man. So, you know, with, with, with no real prospects, with no real guys that's maybe looking like something, it's nobody. <laughs> it's nobody really looks like they're going to be a ball player in that DB room for the Arizona Cardinals but Buda Baker. So I do understand where he's coming from. So, you know, but I do understand also from the GM side saying, hey, you know, you have two more years left. We're not going to worry about that right now. You know, we're going to have some time to think about things. But, you know, you want to, you want him to be a leader. You want him to be responsible. You want him to be – you know, uh, the guy that he's been he's been for the Cardinals his whole career, you know, but now you want him to do it while being unhappy. Like I said, it's a tough move. You know, it's, it's tough on both sides. But I do have a couple of trade rumors and trade landing spots for him, honestly, things I would like to see. Uh, some of these aren't really realistic, I'm not going to lie to you, but these are some teams I have written down right now. I have the Minnesota Vikings. I think he will fit perfectly. And a guy like Brian Flores' scheme, they need some youth in that safety spot. Uh, pairing him with Harrison Smith would be well. You know, like I said, he's a hybrid guy, being Buda Baker. He, he's a hybrid guy, so that could make some sense there. Uh, the New England Patriots, uh, Devin McCourty. Was it Devin? Or, uh, whatever McCourty twin who was still playing. He, he just retired uh, about a month ago now. And uh, Devin McCourty did retire this offseason about a month ago. You know, uh, so, yeah, he's definitely going there. Um, and you have Kyle Duggar in a strong safety spot. You could definitely put a guy like Buda Baker there in that free safety spot role, uh, playing single high safety in that in that defense. He'll fit well there, honestly. Um, and also, Bill Belichick. He's spoken very highly, same way he spoke highly of DeAndre Hopkins. He spoke highly as well publicly of uh, on on Buda Baker. So that does make sense there. I'm not gonna lie to you. That definitely does uh, make sense there with the McCordy twin going now. Finally, after all these years, both of them finally retired. They've been around for a long time, and they and they both are playing pretty well towards in their careers. Also, you know, being being their advanced age, they're not that old, but in far in terms of as football age, they've been around for a minute, especially in that New England Patriots system, and they've been thriving. You know, and I still think Devin could have played a couple more years, really, if he wanted to. But yeah. Uh, I think the Patriots are a pretty good spot there. I like the Bengals. 
They didn't bring back Jesse Bates. They didn't bring back Von Bell. I'm very, very high on Dax Hill. I'm very high on Cam Taylor Britt. Possibly playing safety if he needs to, but he's really a, a, a corner. But he played safety in, 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 uh, in, in the past also. But right now they have Dax Hill. They have uh, Nick Scott. So those are two good guys there. I'm not going to lie to you. But if you could get a chance to get Buda Baker, I'm not mad at it. I'm not going to lie. I'm be mad at it. Also, one more team I'd like to add into it. Well, I have, I have three more teams. I do the Kansas City Chiefs. they will be a good move there. Uh, they lost all pro talent. Juan Thornhill this offseason. I'm trying to think. He went He went to the Browns, yep, because uh, he went to the Browns because he was trying to lure over McCole Hartman, which didn't end up happening. Uh, you have the Philadelphia Eagles. They lost Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not really sure what their defensive scheme will be for the Eagles. I'm not going to tell you a story there, so I don't know. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of tough there. And I have also the Oakland, oh, excuse me, the Vegas Raiders. Sorry. The Vegas Raiders are a decent spot as well. They need safety bad for the last five to seven years. They've been trying to find a good safety. You know, uh, they drafted a guy from TCU a couple years ago. They had Abrams a couple years ago as well, who they just let go. What, the trade deadline or this offseason? I forgot which one, actually, but... Uh, Abrams is going now. Uh, what's a dude, the dude named from TCU? Uh, Morag. Yeah, he's there. He hasn't really lived up to the hype either, but he's still young, still got time to do some stuff. But, you know, it's tough, man. <laughs> they, they've been trying to find a good safety for a while now. So, Buda Baker could be the answer there also. You know, that, that team is ready to win. They got Devontae Adams. They have those guys there ready to lock and load. They just got to really find, you know, uh, get some defensive presence. And they haven't found that in their DB room the last five, seven, so odd years. So, uh, so yeah, man, he has some landing spots that he can definitely, um, definitely go to if he's made available by NFL draft or during the off season, some sometime after the draft. So uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think a contract extension is coming. I really don't see it happening. Uh, though all them years left on his on his deal, it's just tough. You know, I know players want. You know, players who do the right thing, who who walk the who walk that walk, you would think the team would do the same, but it, it's a business, and I definitely understand it. You know, uh, I don't think it's right at all times, but this situation here, I'm fine with the organization not giving him more money as of right now, or at least not giving him more more years. You know, I want all players to, 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 to get their money. Don't get it twisted, but you know, just right now where the Cardinals are at, I don't see them doing it. You know, they're trying to trade Hopkins. Watts gone, Zach Allen's gone. Like a lot of their veteran, their best players are gone. Byron Byron Murphy, who's their best corner, is gone. They didn't bring him back. So it was like, man, what are they trying to do? They're going in the full rebuild mode. If you're Buda Baker, why would you want to stay there? You know, so that's that's the weird thing. Not weird thing, but that's the tricky part there. But you know, you've been there for so long. You you've been in the community. I understand it. The fan base, I understand it. So it's a tough spot to be in. It really is. But uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe draft night, you know, day one, two, or three, we might see Buda Baker's name called, and not and not to be drafted, but to be traded or part of a trade deal that just went down. So we'll see where it goes, man. But that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And Devin McCourty did retire this offseason about a month ago, you know. Uh, so, yeah, he's definitely going there. Um, and you have Kyle Duggar in a strong safety spot. You could definitely put a guy like Buda Baker there in that free safety spot role, uh, playing single high safety in that, in that defense. He'll fit well there, honestly. Um, and also, Bill Belichick, he's spoken very highly, same way he spoke highly of DeAndre Hopkins. He spoke highly as well publicly of uh, on, on Buda Baker. So that does make sense there. I'm not going to lie to you. That de definitely does uh, make sense there with the McCordy twin going now. Finally, after all these years, both of them finally retired. They've been around for a long time. And they and they both are playing pretty well towards the end of their careers also. You know, being being their advanced age, they're not that old. But in, far, in terms of as football age, they've been around for a minute, especially in that New England Patriots system. And they've been thriving. You know, and I still think Devin could have played a couple more years, really, if he wanted to. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the Patriots are a pretty good spot there. I like the Bengals. They didn't bring back Jesse Bates. They didn't bring back Von Bell. I'm very, very high on Dax Hill. I'm very high on Cam Taylor Britt. Possibly playing safety if he needs to, but he's really a, a, a corner. 
but he played safety in in uh, in in the past also. But right now they have Dax Hill, they have uh, Nick Scott, so 